Fibrocystic change is a condition where women have a tendency to form lumpy, tender breasts that are prone to developing cysts. Fibrocystic breast disease used to be an older term, but we no longer consider fibrocystic change to be a disease. So if it is reported as a finding in your breast ultrasound, do not panic. It is usually not something to worry about or something that you need to usually undergo surgery for. Fibrocystic changes are believed to be a response of the breast to normal fluctuating levels of hormones within the woman's body. And these hormones, as you know, are estrogen and progesterone. And according to your menstrual cycle, the hormone levels fluctuate. Now, uh, often this problem is very common in young women in their 30s and 40s and generally it tends to go away after menopause, except in women who are still using hormone replacement therapy. Fibrocystic breasts do not necessarily increase or decrease your chances of breast cancer. It is not a precancerous condition. So fibrocystic breast change doesn't convert to breast cancer. However, you do have to realize that fibrocystic changes are very common. So women who have fibrocystic breast disease can develop breast cancer with as much risk as women who do not have fibrocystic breast disease. And that is a combination of your genetics and lifestyle. Most of the time, breasts that have fibrocystic change do not need any specific treatment. As I said, it is no longer considered a breast disease per se. However, some women may notice the breast to be particularly painful and lumpy before their periods. They're more prone to what we call as mastalgia. And uh, there are certain things you could do to decrease that discomfort that comes with fibrocystic breast change. These um, treatments include decreasing tea coffee, decreasing caffeine intake, wearing a good supportive bra, something that gives you good support, um, maintaining normal levels of vitamin D because women who are vitamin D deficient are often uh, shown to have more tendency to have fibrocystic breasts. And if some of these uh, non-pharmacological interventions are not helping you, then you can certainly see a breast surgeon who can advise you appropriate treatment, sometimes with anti-inflammatory medicines, sometimes with other therapies.